Hi everyone, thanks so much for stopping back by the channel. If you are new, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We would love to have you along for this all natural life in this little red brick farmhouse. Uh, here at the farmhouse, we do a lot of farming and gardening, homesteading, and, and a whole lot of DIY projects. And today, we are going to be doing a DIY. We are going to be making our own all natural hand sanitizer. This is a product that I like to make, especially this time of the year, because when I go into a store, I look at the grocery cart and I see leaky baby diaper, a child with a runny nose chewing on the handle. I also see someone coming out of the bathroom who didn't wash their hands, or grabbing their cart and walking off with it. So I definitely have a lot of hand sanitizer and I use it a lot. Unfortunately, when we use traditional hand sanitizer, it contains a high amount of alcohol and that is very drying to our winter skin that is already dry already. So I'm going to use some essential oils that are very good at killing germs. They are antimicrobial, so they are going to kill uh, not only germs, but viruses and fungus. So anything that your hands get into, they are going to take care of. And it's going to have a product that is not drying to your skin. So with that being said, let's jump into this video. Okay, so we want to start mixing our oils together. And um, I'm actually going to start with cinnamon first. I like to start with oils that are um, the heaviest of scents. They have notes, what we call notes. And so uh, cinnamon has the heaviest notes. So we're going to start with that. The cinnamon is a antibacterial. It is great for fighting infection. So I have put about four drops of cinnamon in this container. Next I'm going to go with clove. Now cinnamon and clove together are just a power packed infection fighting. Uh, they are both antimicrobial and um, again that was four drops in here as well. This is a, clove is a powerful germ fighter and you know that cinnamon and clove are both used in products like toothpaste and dental products so they are good at fighting germs. Next we're going to use some lemon and we're going to go with about 8 to 10 drops of lemon. Lemon is an antiseptic, it's a disinfectant, it's antibacterial. Lemon is also an immune booster. So while you're putting it on, you are also uh, boosting your immunity. And then we're just gonna go with three drops of tea tree oil. Tea tree oil is, um, again, all three of those antibacterial, antiviral, and antifungal. Now you do know that, you know, bacteria and viral are different. Like sometimes we get a cold or a flu and it's uh, we want to take an antibiotic but an antibiotic isn't going to fix it because it's a virus and viruses and bacteria act completely different so this solution is going to do all of those things. Now we talked about alcohol and it drying our hands so we are using 100% aloe vera juice gel not juice, a gel. And so we're just going to put that in there. And that is going to be our carrier for our oils. And, you know, we use this for sunburn, right? And what is our skin in the wintertime? It's windburn, it's dry. So this is the perfect product. So while I finish filling the bottle, I just want to chime in with a reminder that essential oils are very strong and you should always dilute them very well. If you're going to use this particular recipe for a child or an elderly person with thin skin, you should totally dilute it down once again, maybe 8 to 10 drops for the entire bottle. And you could totally use unscented lotion or coconut oil as a carrier oil in this recipe as well for this video guys. I hope that you have learned a thing or two about essential oils. I know I get a lot of questions and comments for essential oils because it is just a huge part of our life here. I hope that you are using your essential oil cream and um, that aloe vera is going to feel so good on your skin. I mean after all we do use it for sunburns and the 
Clove and cinnamon oil, as I mentioned, are both warming oils, so when you're rubbing them in, it's going to help warm your hands, and uh, these are going to do a great job at killing germs, keeping you safe, and um, not drying your skin. So, all right, guys, everyone, be blessed, be safe, and I'll see you next time.